welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's all up next. With the eyes of the world watching, it's time for the biggest event of the year, as we're proud to welcome you to the Super Bowl. Tonight, the Lombardi Trophy's in the building, and we've got a fight to see who's going to raise it. Between the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to, because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple of QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today, because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage, and maybe six points, too. The final two teams remain. Only one will be a champion. And we're off in the Super Bowl. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So the Lions take the field for their first drive. They're led out by someone who's fought through the doubters all through his career, and he just keeps putting up numbers. Jared Goff. Kate, there are other flashier quarterbacks that make more highlight real plays than Jared Goff. There certainly are bigger and stronger athletes playing the position today. But Jared's just a throwback, a guy that understands the timing and the precision. I love that he knows what he is and he, what he isn't when it comes to his skills. And it's why he's been able to flourish in multiple places and why he continues to sustain a lot of success in this league. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. They go play action with Goff. That's complete to Sam Laporta. And he reaches the 35 before going out. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. Dump off caught by his back. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep him short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Fair catch called for and made just outside the 20. So here are the Chiefs, out on offense for their first drive. Leading them out, someone who Brock, I think, needs less introduction than anyone in the NFL today. It's Patrick Mahomes. All of us as sports fans, we know those players in the other sports that when we just think of the greatest to ever do it, a skill set that's different than everybody else, immediately a player pops in your mind. And while we have seen goats like Tom Brady and Super Bowl winners many times over like Bradshaw, Montana, and Aikman, there's just not many that have ever done it with the flair, the style, and the skill set of Patrick Mahomes. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. From the 24. That one complete to Hopkins. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Terry on Arnold in on the stop. The rookie out of Alabama there on the tackle. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route. They get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball.
They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Finds his man, Gray. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Third down, it's Mahomes. Cover man is there, and he harmlessly knocks it away. Incomplete. You know, that is so hard to do. That's called body control. Great positioning to swat the ball away, not go through the receiver, no penalty flag. He's got the body control and, more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. The Chiefs looking to put on fourth down, so on comes Matt Ariza to handle it. And that's going to pin them as deep as it can go. They're going to be set up inside their own five-yard line. So the Lions headed out for their second drive of the game. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. It gives Montgomery to start the drive. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Running on second with Montgomery. And he's caught after a game of about two. Something he does so well. Nick Bolton making the stop. Give him only a couple that time. It's going to be third down. As an offense in these situations, Kate, you could feel your own goal line. And you're not going to risk putting the ball in the air. So that means you're going to run it, and you're going to buy whatever breathing room you can. Quickly looking left, and it's complete. And he's out of bounds just past the five. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. The Lions readying for the punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. Got 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. Fair catch is made a yard or two short of midfield. So no return on that punt. And it'll be good field position for them as they take over right at midfield. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Blitz coming, Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Off the play fake, it's Mahomes. Bails out of the pocket quick. He keeps it and takes off. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Here's 1st and 10 from the 34. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Completes this one to Gray. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it'll be 1st down, Kansas City. 
I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. All right, set now, first and ten. Back-to-back carries here. And they bring him down pretty quickly at the ten. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Another carry for him. Fights off a tackle, but he lost the ball. He left the ball behind. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Put a check mark by that one. You're going to remember that one, not just over the course of this game, but I guarantee you in the offseason when they're watching effort. That was all about effort. Backs pressed against the wall when you're down here defensively. And that's the type of play that coaches love to see from everyone on the roster. Now the Lions offense gets ready to return to the field. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Bronk. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Second and three now. Goff setting the throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the end of one here in Super Bowl 59. Couple of zeros on the board right now. We'll return to New Orleans right after this. Welcome back. The team is set, so let's get back to it. Second quarter of Super Bowl 59 from New Orleans. They're looking at first down here. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Shotgun snap here to go. Laporta with the grab. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight ends short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. All plays on the table here for third and three. Throwing is gone. Dumps it off to his running back. And the defense was ready. They got him at the line. I got to be honest, it hurts a little extra when it comes on third down, but it really doesn't matter what down it is. If a completed pass is stopped at the line of scrimmage offensively, that's a failure. Defensively, that's a success. It'll be another punch. Jack Fox out there once again. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. The Chiefs back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. By this point, partner, they are through that opening script, through trying to establish their offense, and yet still no points. Thinking it might be time to start uh, switching things up a little bit, tear up the old game plan and start fresh. Well, I promise you that's what's buzzing on the headsets and over on the sidelines and in the huddle. Got to find a way to just get into some sort of rhythm. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Out 
Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. Throw reeled in by Hopkins. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Kate, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called Air Raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. Third and short, here's Mahomes. That's caught for the first. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Oh, he taps it quick to the receiver coming across here. And he's charged towards the line. That's right around three yards. Tried to mix in a little wide receiver carry and catch this defense on its heels. We've seen it work time and again, and it almost got there. Without that tackle, we could have seen a big gainer. But give some credit to the defense where credit is due. Second down now, seven to go. Handoff now from the gun. This is ahead for about five. Kirby Joseph up for the stop. Five yards on the play. They could just do that again. Third and two coming up. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you can win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length. It may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Third and two. Mahomes to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Escapes the pocket. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Has it down close. And that's a Kansas City touchdown. So Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Now Harrison Butker for the point after. Right down the middle. It's good. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Butker on now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Detroit offense getting ready for its next drive. 
And it's not good, Brock, when you're discussing their punter uh, as one of your early game MVPs, but they just haven't been able to get anything going so far. No, you'll hear some old school coaches, especially defensive minded coaches, Kate, and they'll say, hey, man, there's nothing wrong with the drive ending with a kick, right? Mm -hmm. As a quarterback, and as an offense, maybe that was the way you played the game back in the day, but not modern football. You've got to go score. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. It's Montgomery on the counter. And he'll bowl his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. Out of the shotgun, call. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And then brings up third down. There was almost no resistance offered against the rush that came off the line, ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Here's gone. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. Jack Fox on the punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. And that one comes down at the two before bouncing into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense out to take over. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Throwing is Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And he gets him around six there. Brian Branch getting there for the tackle. Started a little slow, but we've arrived at the two-minute warning. The Chiefs. Looking down a very long field. From the 26 on second down. Finds him over the middle. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That's a pickup of nine. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Mahomes on first and ten. That pass is caught by Smith Schuster. On the move, past the 40. Keeps himself upright. And he's in for the Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs grow their lead just before halftime. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. But Kerr to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Chiefs double their lead to 14. Butker on now to kick this one away. Starting from the five. He's got a lane up past the 30. And an excellent return here sets them up almost at midfield. The offense headed out now for Detroit. 
And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. Goff on first and ten. Finds Laporta. And he'll take it past the midfield stripe and start the push into Chiefs territory. Now the Lions call in a timeout. They're first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. From the 46. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. From the gun, Goff. Gets this one to Patrick. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They have themselves another first and ten. Throwing again. It's gone. Gets it quickly to St. Brown. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. Detroit calls timeout. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Into the end zone, but someone's able to knock it away. That's incomplete. Well, the QB right there, he put it pretty close to the sidelines to begin with. And the defender, well, that was a nice job. Just simply put a hand out there, and let me just encourage the ball to fall incomplete. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. Throwing now from the gun. The Lions make it a one-score game before halftime. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Now it's Jake Bates for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Lions chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, well, plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. There was a window there for a moment, but boy, did they close the gap before that throw could arrive. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Not taking any risks here, keeping this one on the ground. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. 
They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. We're halfway to crowning a champion here in the Super Bowl. Now we'll head over to Orlando, Florida. Check in with Jonathan Coachman for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. And what a season this has been, and it is nearing a conclusion. You guys enjoy the show out there. We'll get it back out to you two in just a moment. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Enough waiting. Let's crown a champion, shall we? The second half of the Super Bowl is underway. McCole Hardman now on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. They're out and set. First and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Finds his man. It's Worthy. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Second and three now. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Completed over the middle. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and ten, it's Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. Again, Mahomes to throw. Complete out to the right side. And this one does not go far. All plays on the table here for third and three. Another throw for Mahomes. Setting up the screen. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Back to the air, Mahomes. He gets this one to Smith-Schuster. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. First is man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Throwing again, Mahomes. His throw finds Justin Watson. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot.
Pressure coming from Mahomes. Four step. This time they're going to get there and they drop him. And then pushes him back. Third down coming up. You get into the red zone and every detail matters. It matters on the whole 100 yards. But, Kate, once you get inside this red zone, it is so critical. And let's tip our cap to the defense on the details, creating that sack. A less than ideal third and eight here. Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. Big gain, 14 on the play. And the Chiefs are gonna have a first down. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for a QB to inspire the guys around him, calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. From the red zone now. Looking end zone, but touchdown denied. Knocked away, incomplete. I'll tell you what that deflection right there, Kate, tells me. That defense was following and reading the quarterback's eyes. Knew exactly where that throw was going. And it takes a little bit of intuition, a little bit of feel. He's able to get his hands on it and knock it out of bounds. A second down throw for Mahomes. And look at the footwork there. Touchdown! The Chiefs grow the lead coming out of halftime. DeAndre Hopkins, the touchdown. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. But Kerr to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Chiefs double their lead to 14. Butker on now to kick this one away. Returning it from the four. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Lions offense returning to the field. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. They got to yeah. give. Hockett isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? They built this type of lead for themselves because that's actually, Kate, their first sack of the game. And that's why smart front offices and complete teams build a well-rounded roster. That way, if a core component like the pass rush today isn't there, well, the other areas of the team pick each other up. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. St. Brown there to bring it in. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to Kansas City, going to the dime look on third down. We've got six DBs out there. Shotgun snap here to go. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. That's grabbed inside the 30. And he's going to take this in. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions start the second half with some needed points. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch.
Bates now for the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Lions chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Brings in the kick at the nine. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30 yard line. The Chiefs and DeAndre Hopkins getting sent for this next offensive possession. They've certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them, so they can really use some more points on this drive. Mahomes on first and 10. Throw reeled in by Hopkins. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. That's complete to Juju. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They're set up at the 35 now. First down throw, Mahomes. He's got it near the 10. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. How about a big hitter? 30, 40 yards there and a new set of downs. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Has the Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs take a 13-point lead. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Butker to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Chiefs double their lead to 14. Butker on now to kick this one away. Fielded at the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Lions getting ready to return to the field. And we've seen some matching touchdowns as of late, so the scoring come in at a good clip, Brock. Let's see if they can keep this up. You know what's fun, Kate? After all of these years, I have friends that are offensive guys, mm -hmm. friends that are defensive guys. <laughs> and my friends watching this one offensively love it. The defensive guys, they're climbing up their walls. Has him on the quick hitter. Man, this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. 
Raymond in motion left. From the 31. Complete to Raymond. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Out of the shotgun, gone. To the right and hauled in by Laporta. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. So we're winding down to the end of the 2024 season. That's the end of three in Super Bowl 59. It's Lions football. Some ground to make up if they want that title. First down now. Ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing again. It's gone. Finds a seam down the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Working inside the red zone. Into traffic, complete! And they're gonna get this down to the four before being stopped. That's a gain of 13, and it sets them up with first and goal. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. This offense in position now, it's first and goal. From the gun, Goff. Catch is made in close! Touchdown, Detroit! All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Bates now for the point after. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Lions chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Hartman with a return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Kansas City offense set to take the field. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Bronco. Response in order as they take over. Throwing on first down, Mahomes. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a pickup of 26, and the Chiefs are going to have a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. First and ten, it's Mahomes. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. An excellent game, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game.
And they've got themselves another first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is caught. It's a Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs go up by two scores, 13 points in the fourth. Travis Kelsey, the touchdown. When you reach the status that he has around the league, Brock, well, we all at this point expect him to be making plays like this when he's targeted down near the end zone. Yeah, I think the best thing I can say about this dude is he makes it look easy a lot of the time. And this game, trust me, is never easy. It speaks to how well he plays this position. But Kerr to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Chiefs double their lead to 14. Butker on now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The offense headed back to the field. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Goff on first and ten. Finds him over the middle. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Move the chains! Gotta move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Patrick going in motion right. First down throw from Goff. He completes it in traffic. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. From the 35 on second down, finds Laporta. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. On first down, it's gone. Hits his running back. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well, and it sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Here's second and two. He got it along the sideline, but just couldn't bring it in within the field of play. That's incomplete. We've got third down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Montgomery gets it from the gun. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. A dose of the hurry up offense here. Shotgun snap here to go. And they will score. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions now within one score in the fourth. Amon Ross St. Brown, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. 
It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, such just a difference-making receiver, King. Yep. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. Bates tacks on the extra point. And the Lions chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Fielded at the seven. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. The home teams and Juju Smith-Schuster headed back out on offense. Well, that touchdown, Brock, certainly has to make him reevaluate some things now with this small of a lead and all three timeouts remaining on that other sideline. What are you thinking? Work the clock, or do you get aggressive for a score? Honestly, Kate, we think through these game management situations, but as a player, you are just living in the present. Execute every play to the best of your possibilities, and you know offensively, this game right now is in your hands. Second and six coming up here. From the 34. Completed over the middle. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in New Orleans. Chiefs feeling lucky with a seven-point lead. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Plowing up the middle. Still going past the 40. And they'll finally get him at the 35-yard line. So after the two-minute warning, another stoppage here. The defense is calling time. 155 to go. They're set up at the 35 now. Going to the ground again on first. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. Now we get another stoppage here. Just 152 remaining. The defense burns a timeout. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. They give it to him again. And he found a gap to take this down to the 28. A timeout taken here by the Lions. That's their third. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. a small loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense forcing a fourth down. Harrison Butker out now. He knows how big this try is. It's from the right hash. 46 yards. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. There's a flag down, and if this is defensive, could give him a first down. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock, but the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. A 
The Chiefs in a victory formation here as they take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. And yet again, the Kansas City Chiefs have won it all. They are your Super Bowl champions. And for all the talk we heard from every team at the start of the season, Brock, they're the ones, these guys right here, who fought all the way to this point and are now champions forever. What a storybook season. You know, at times it even seemed like it's ripped right from a movie. The way the pieces fell into place along the way, all of it led to...